What's up everybody, it's Mark again, and today we're going to be reviewing the highly anticipated Scream 6. Alright, I've been, I've been yearning for this movie and I've been waiting for it, and now that it's finally out and that I've seen it, oh man, I can tell you right now, this one is hands down one of the best out of the whole franchise. So without further ado, if you couldn't already tell from the mask and my excitement, let's just dive right into it. Is the mask not through my voice? So first off, let's kind of recap what happened in Scream 5 so that way it can set the tone for what's going down in Scream 6. So basically, uh, the daughters of Billy Loomis, um, Samantha and Tara, they found out that Samantha's boyfriend Richie was a serial killer and then him and his girlfriend tried to kill them. Uh, spoiler alert from the last movie if you haven't seen it, but they killed uh, Deputy Dewey, R.I.P., and uh yeah i mean so i mean who would have thought but now it's been a year since all that has happened and sam and tara have gone off to college in new york and tara has been trying to move on from what has happened but samantha is like totally guarded she's completely on edge and she's pretty much traumatized by the whole thing and can't really forget about it but tara just wants to move on with her life and just kind of forget about the whole thing. And so that's where uh, we start off with Scream 6. So going into this movie, I was massively hyped because it was going to be in a new environment. It was going to be in New York. And that is something we haven't really seen um, in the Scream franchise in general. We haven't really seen anything take place outside of Woodsboro. It's only happened, like, everything that's gone down has only happened in Woodsboro. But now that we've finally gotten out of that town and into New York, uh, that really like elevates the, the stakes and the horror within this movie. And that's one of the movie's strengths. So let's get right into this movie's strengths because there's a lot of them. So starting off, uh, this movie, yeah, this movie is like super violent. Like if you thought the last one was brutal, this one takes it up a whole other notch. Like Ghostface is straight up pulling out mortal combat style fatalities like he does not hold back you see a uh, total dismemberment uh decapitation and like every stab and you know like every stab that you see in the movie like you feel it like they really like take their time with it and like there was multiple moments where I would see characters getting stabbed, and I'd be like, oh, man, that, that's too brutal, dog. But, yeah, I mean, that really elevates the horror, and I thought that was amazing, all right? And another strength of this movie is really just the characters themselves. So, in the last movie, you know, we have Sam, Tara, Chad, and Mindy. Uh, we had them survive the events of the last movie, and now they've come back, the core four, are back for this movie and honestly like all those characters are really likable you know like you can easily root for all the characters um and i might be a little biased because i have a crush on jenna ortega but that's a different story but um even like characters like chad like he's actually a really good character this time around and they gave him and tara a more fleshed out story they gave everybody a more fleshed out story and kind of showing how they moved on from what happened a year prior but even though they've tried to move on they still remember what happened and they take the necessary precautions in case something like that does ever happen again there's also some pretty cool callbacks to um some of the older scream movies so i also really like that as well and even the returning legacy character like kirby when she comes back she's actually a pretty cool character um, she's now an FBI agent and we see like when she comes onto the scene and she finds out that Ghostface is back like she is straight to business she's like all right let's not waste any time let's get down right to it and find out who's doing this and you know Kirby is at it and especially in the final act um yeah she she really steps it up you know what I mean like she's got that dog in her actually all these characters got that dog in them especially uh, you, the people who end up being Ghostface. And speaking of which, let's let's get into that. This isn't going to be any spoilers, so don't worry. But um, a lot, one thing that I've heard 
about uh, the movie that people were complaining about was the motivation. And to be honest, I do feel like the motivation was uh, like it did make sense, you know, like when you really think about it and what happened in the last movie, I feel like the motivation this time around does make sense. There were was a few stuff that kind of didn't make sense, but the overall motivation I felt did make sense. And and I also feel like it was fleshed out, um, not uh, perfect, but also not bad. You know, I felt like it was pretty well fleshed out for what it could be. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. It is... <laughs> yeah, look, I don't know how Ghostface chases people with this thing on. It, it's hard to breathe in there. There's only... It's like a little slit right under here to breathe through. I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, that that's the only thing you get. But you can see pretty well out of that mask. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of surprised. But let's get into some of the faults of this movie. And to be honest, I don't really have many faults. I would say maybe like... The only fault that I have is that um, at one point when the characters are trying to figure out who Ghostface is and like everything that's unfolding is that they kind of get a little too meta. And that was something that they did in the last movie um, when they brought up like all these other horror movies and you know how like the recoil works and, and like how everything plays out and how to survive. But then again, like it also kind of sets the stakes for the movie. Um, if that makes sense, but that's just a little nitpick. And then I would also say another uh, uh, negative I have with this movie, it might be a little controversial, but it would probably uh, be Courtney Cox's character, Gail Weathers. Um, I don't know what it is, but in this movie, she comes off like kind of like not not unforgiving, but also like, I don't even know how to explain it because when... Um, when she comes into the movie, she's still in her reporter phase and um, also like kind of disregards everything that had happened to Sam and Tara and how Sam feels um, from everything that happened in the last movie. And also like she comes off kind of snarky and condescending towards uh, mainly Kirby. And, you know, that was just something that I kind of noticed. I don't know if other people noticed it too, but... I mean, I just don't like it when people are condescending. So when I saw that, I was like, uh, I don't know, man. I mean, if if push comes to shove and Ghostface needs a sacrifice, I, I don't know. I mean, we might choose you. So don't cross that line. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, other than that, I mean, I this movie is like, it is super good. Like, honestly, I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10. That is the first 10 out of 10 review we have on this channel. So, you know, like this movie is Mark approved, it's Michael Myers approved, Ghostface approved, everything. So, I mean, the violence is top tier. The suspense in this movie is also top tier because there was multiple times where I was like, oh shit, like how is this going to end? Are they going to make it out? Like how, like how are they going to fight him off? And I was just like, damn, bro. Like, it, it really has you on the edge of your seat sweating bullets and whatnot. So, you know, you definitely won't be... Th there is never a dull moment in this movie. And especially the opening scene, they go right to it. Um, especially the bodega scene. I feel like that's probably my personal favorite scene of the movie just because we, we've never seen Ghostface use actual firearms. So I thought that was pretty cool. And also how Sam and Tara were trying to hide and like sneak around ghost face i thought was pretty cool as well so overall i give this movie a 10 out of 10 um if y'all want to go watch it highly recommend it uh it is definitely worth your time and money and yeah i mean that's pretty much all i got to say so uh i wouldn't be surprised if they greenlit scream 7 in fact i actually hear that um paramount is in talks for scream 7 uh, what will the story be and will the core four characters be returning? Um, I'm not too sure. That's kind of like up for debate. But either way, I'm personally excited to see uh, what the future holds for Scream. Uh, I'm sure Scream 7 will be a banger. And if maybe Scream 7 will be the last movie 
or if maybe they'll just go on to Scream 10 and call it Scream X. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good title, so I'm gonna write that down. But uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's it's pretty good movie. And you know, honestly, um, I mean, we gotta give it up to Chad, bro, because I mean, surviving Ghostface twice, like Chad has that dog in him. So surviving Ghostface twice and uh, not being afraid of him in this sec, because when Ghostface fights Chad, uh, this isn't a spoiler or anything, but when uh, Chad runs into Ghostface, like he he kind of doesn't back down. Like he actually he starts hitting them. Actually, Chad's Chad's gotten a little more aggressive in this movie. Like he's got that dog in him, uh, and so yeah, I mean, surviving Ghostface twice and beating his ass, such a Chad thing to do. You know what I'm saying? And also, you know, if even if most of the characters don't return for Scream 7, I just hope that General Ortega does return. And that totally has nothing to do with the fact that I have a crush on Jenna. So, I mean, by the way, Jenna, if you're watching this and you want to go get dinner sometime, uh, just hit me up. But that's all for me, guys. Again, I highly recommend Scream 6. So until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace.